So I'm in Winyard. I want to see these grumpy bakers at every combi lane. I saw it a lot on TikTok. So let's check it out. The establishment is that way. Uh, I'll walk about five minutes. If you take the uh, light rail, you can stop at Bridge Street, which is just over there. So it's literally just like, well, theoretically, it's literally only like five minutes walk from Winyard. So from the map, it says just next to Establishment Hotel, but there's this tiny lane. So let's see if it's right. So Establishment is just up the road. And yeah, so, so that's Abbey Combi Lane, just right there. Tang Stream Bar. And it should lead us to Grumpy Baker. Yeah. Down right. And there you go. Sorry. Yeah, it is the Grumpy Baker. Oh, there's no chair. No chair. It's so European, don't you think? Hold on. Okay, there's pastry. Who love the pastry are, are sold out because I am quite late. I am like it's two o'clock right now, so it's a bit late. Ooh, creamy mushroom. Oh, oh, here it is. Lunch. Grumpy falafel. So. Shall we just get homemade house made chips? So I bought chips rather than bread, which is, I don't know, maybe that's not a good idea. But I bought homemade chips instead because I didn't really see anything I wanted from the lunch menu. So yeah. Hopefully it's okay, and I just bought my usual decaf coffee with uh, cappuccino. So this is my view. I really like it. It's quite like tucked in inside an alley. I don't know if the coffee is gonna stay put though, because this is this is pretty unstable. It should be alright. Because this is slanted. It's slanted. Let's try coffee. So bad, it's not bad. Yeah, it's really fun. Very like I have had better. I know this is probably not a good review just because I should have bought the bread because that's what they're famous for. I guess I'm just checking the vibe. The vibe is good. If you want to have here, like have for breakfast or lunch, if you work here, it's quite alright. I think I've forgotten my order. I still have chips coming, but it's like people come and go. And my chips haven't come. No, did not forget me. My chips came. It is so. Is it sweet potato? Did they use sweet potato? I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if the hand cut chips is good. It's still hot, so it's fresh. It's very potato y. It doesn't taste like it tastes like homemade potato fry.
So that's not crisp. It's 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 not crispy. It's just hot. Ah. It's more like a weight wedges rather than chips. I kind of wish it's crispy though, but that's a personal preference. Oh. It's like eating potatoes. It is homemade potatoes, so. I don't know what to say about this. I know it's not bad, but it's not my preference. <laughs> so I can't say it's good. Mm. But for seven dollars, I think it hits like it's a lot. So you'll get your money worth definitely for seven dollars. Um, it's a full meal. It's not like you know um, chips on the side that you get with your uh, fish and chips, for example. It's not like that because those chips are very empty, and you won't feel like you're eating potato. That this you will feel like you're eating potato. So yeah, if you want to grab a meal, chips that feels more like a meal, this is it. And for seven bucks, it's good for your money. gonna finish this I think it's all right for the price it's all right so yeah but if you guys are into bread they're probably a lot better than the chips because it's you know it's not what a bakery is famous for hmm. I'm gonna sign off now see you guys